Today on Growing Idaho, if you grew up here or lived here for any length of time, you've said it. Maybe you're driving by a subdivision or other new development. You'll look out and you'll tell your passenger, I remember when all that was fields. But that little phrase is more than just small talk. It demonstrates a major loss of agricultural land in Idaho. And a nonprofit organization wants to do something about it. As Idaho keeps growing and developers keep building, it's important to remember what they're building on. Past 20 years, Idaho has lost literally tens of thousands of acres of our productive agricultural land. Roger Bat is the executive director of the Coalition for Agriculture's Future. They're a nonprofit made up of a lot of different agricultural organizations and companies. They want more people to understand how important agriculture is to the state and how much losing agricultural land can harm us all. He estimates more than 50,000 acres of farm and ranch land has been paved over between 2001 and 2020 in Idaho, especially between Meridian and Nampa of late. Now, that's out of roughly more than 11 million acres of ag land total in the state, which is a fraction of that, but... Agriculture, as you know, is an $8 billion industry to our economy. Our uh, farmland is critical to our uh, future and our, and our food supply. And every acre that's removed uh, from that uh, is a hit to our economy. This affects more than just farmers and ranchers. The loss of farmland impacts everyone. It impacts our food security. It impacts our economy, our environment, and the culture of land in our communities as well. And really, I, I think we need to ask ourselves, are we more comfortable with the food on our dinner plates coming from Idaho agriculture producers, or are we actually more comfortable getting our food from places where we don't know where it's produced or how it's produced? Now, you might have heard some of this before. So it's time to stop talking about the issue and time to actually get something done on it. That something is potential state legislation. Bat says they've been working on it for more than a year and are almost ready to introduce it. Again, it's still being written, but the bill would try to convince landowners to keep their fields as fields instead of allowing them to be developed into subdivisions or strip malls. Essentially what it does is it is establishes a program in Idaho. It's a voluntary program where uh, landowners can get into the program and receive incentives for tying up that land over a 20 year period of time. He says a lot of lawmakers are already on board because their constituents are worried just like they are. We don't blame people for wanting to move to Idaho. It's a great place. Uh, I'm a fifth generation Idahoan myself, but um, I you know, don't blame people for moving here. But people are concerned about the future of our food supply and, and what that's going to look like. Now, if you want to support this effort or you don't, Bat says you can get in touch with your legislator. Again, though, it's not a bill yet. should be introduced soon. And you can always just buy Idaho and support your local agriculture that way. Maggie? It's always a good idea to buy Idaho. It's always a good idea. Thank you, Justin, for that. We'll come